Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect CG Dropshipping to WooCommerce in 2023. Of course, integrating CG Dropshipping with WooCommerce can streamline your dropshipping operations and even enhance your online store product offering. So in this guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to set up this integration. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and sign up or sign in into CG Dropshipping account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, it's going to be Brave Browser, but of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you have. If you have many, just choose one. Once you open that browser, go to the throttle section. Here, simply type CG Dropshipping com and hit the enter button once you do so you'll be taken to their home screen or main screen so let me just log out and as you can see you'll find it like this you'll find the sign in option at the top right corner to log in into your account if you don't have an account and if you have an account click on register instead so for me i'll log in with uh, my google accounts it's the same as my shopify accounts of course if you log in with shopify that will connect your shopify account to cj's dropshipping automatically so just keep that in mind so of course we'll have to do the same with WooCommerce. So you can simply go and open a new tab, go and type of course WooCommerce. So sorry. WooCommerce.com. Hit the enter button. I forgot one M, so I guess it's fine. This should take me to yeah. As you can see, so they take me to their home screen also. As you can see, I'm already like logged in into my account. Let me just log out and see. As you can see, you'll find yourself on this screen. So you'll have to do the same login into your account if you have one. If you don't, click on get started instead. For me, I'll just click on login here. And of course, I'll log in with uh, like Google account, as you can see, because I'm and even WordPress, you can log in with that. Because I'm already logged into my WordPress, as you can see, I didn't have to enter any credentials for this or this. So now what should we do? Go back to CG Dropshipping. And of course, you have two options. You can uh, like on your commerce, you can go and install the dropshipping plugin and start the integration from WooCommerce. If you don't want to do that, you can uh, do or start the integration from CG Dropshipping. So go to CG Dropshipping, go to your account at the top right corner, click on account here as an example, then click on store authorization. Go here, scroll down a bit, and as you can see, you'll find WooCommerce here. Click on that. And as you can see, you haven't authorized any stores yet. Authorize your store to activate one click product listing automatic or automatic order fulfillment. So simply here, I'll just go and click on add store. So type WooCommerce authorization default or uh, like through the plugin, depending on whatever you want. So default here, you'll have to simply enter the site URL. So go back here. And here, of course, go to your stores. And as you can see for me, this is going to be my store. So I'll basically go and click on manage stores example. Something unexpected happens. So just go, as you can see, I cannot access it for some reason at the moment. I just click on view store. Yeah, it seems like impossible. So just for you, go and click on manage store and get the URL of that store and simply paste that URL here. Of course, if you don't know how to do it, you can, as example, refer to this tutorial that's provided by this. So as you can see, log into your WooCommerce store and make sure three things. Install WooCommerce plugin for your WooCommerce admin plugins and add new. Of course, this is going to be like on your local host of WordPress, basically. Then you'll have to install the WordPress Reset API of the 1.0 server. And as an example, let's just open like a local host in case or in the meanwhile. And as you can see, once you install it, you'll have to add, add plugins, add new, uh, install and activate it. Then of course, choose the correct option, which is post name uh, for permalink structure from your WooCommerce admin settings, permalink, permalink structure. And finally here, as you can see, uh, you'll have to fill the site URL here. And of course, click on approve and you will have to authorize everything and you will be good to go as you can see you will get this uh, option or which is authorization is completed and you will basically be good to go so let's just go to my local host go to plugins add new and let's see the plugin that they say here so it's wordpress reset api so go here wordpress reset api scroll down a bit 
and C. So, okay, I forgot here D. C again. Okay, so it seems like we have to simply go copy that name and paste this here. And let's see. So here's it. So just go to it and make sure to install it now. As you can see, click on install now. So we'll have to wait for it's installed. Click on activate. So basically, we'll have to follow the steps here. As you can see, very simple. So once it's installed, as you can see, you'll find it like right here installed. Let's just check if it's installed or not. It was like WordPress something. Yeah, here is it. As you can see, it's installed. Now we can go to settings. Permalinks. As you can see, as they say here, so you'll have to go to settings, permalinks, permalink structure. Then we'll have to go to permalink structure and post name. Also click on post name as an example. Here's the tool, get a URL, I guess. So once we are here, example, so choose the correct option for permalink structure. And of course, once you choose post name, Here's this, as you can see, from this, you'll have to go to authorization page on CG, which what you have here. So basically we don't have to open it again. So, which is gonna be this one. And okay, we can just choose default as example. And of course, choose default as authorization method, fill in this site URL and click on prove. So we don't need this anymore. And basically site URL is gonna be this. Okay, we don't need to copy that. Yeah, like this. Go back here, enter that, authorize. And no, just advance, proceed. So we'll have to wait a bit until this like opens. Seems like there's a problem. So basically I actually even don't have a store. So I guess that's why this problem is occurring. For you, you can even just go to your WooCommerce, get the URL, and simply once you get your URL, go and click on Add Store. Just enter the URL here, and you'll be even good to go. But uh, of course, you can follow those steps here provided here. Very simple, as you can see. Once you get the URL, of course, you'll have to add store, and you will get an authorize. Uh, you will approve everything, and you will have everything good to go. And so, of course, once you've done this connection, you'll be able to review and manage listings, import products, monitor orders and fulfillments, and do a lot of various other steps. Steps. So that's going to be it for me today. Congratulations, of course, for you. You've successfully connected CJ Dropshipping to WooCommerce in 2023. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I will see you in the next video.